What is up, Tube? And welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. Let's get into this. What's good, Tube? Welcome back, everybody, to my channel. Today is Monday, June 1st. My birthday. 51 today, guys. 51. 51 years old on this earth. Born in 1969. Uh, yesterday, we had a little bit of a barbecue at my mom's house. They had a little... Made burgers for me for my birthday. It was cool. It was enjoyable. But, you know, it's it kind of sucks, guys, waking up today and... and um, you know, to see what's going on in the world and in our country and in, in our city. You know, seeing all the civil unrest and, and seeing all the people out there looting and, and, and rioting. And, you know, it's one thing to protest, guys. But it's another thing to go out there and destroy somebody's business, somebody's uh, way of making money. You know, this impacts people it, it, tremendously, especially when you're like a barbershop owner. Or, you know, I've seen... Saw some Instagrams yesterday of some shops in downtown LA where the guy was getting ready to open in a couple of days and walks outside and it looked like a war zone. Little cop cars were burnt up, you know. I saw another one where another guy owned a barber shop and he was uh his shop got thrashed. Got thrashed. They were inside cleaning up glass, stole everything from the inside of his shop. His shop was pretty much totaled. And the guy still didn't seem that angry. He just seemed like like, I can't believe you guys did this, you know, this is a black-owned barbershop and, and a minority barbershop, but the guys, at this point, this that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if you're black-owned, white-owned, you know, Mexican-owned shop, it's you're just, people are destroying our own society, our own, our own communities, like, you're going in there and destroying something that people have worked all their entire lives to build and work for, and it's sad, it's sad to me, um, I feel lucky that I live where I live and, and, you know, here in my city, we're a tight little city. Everybody knows everybody. And, um, and I, I really, I'm proud of my city that, that this hasn't happened here, you know, and, and uh, that we're just, man, I mean, we're like everybody else watching it on TV, hanging in there, but it, it's so close to home guys. It's so close to home. They were in Almani, which is only about five miles away from here. And they were looting a, a, a little strip mall that they had at that city. And, 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 and man, it's sad. It's sad. I can't believe, I can't believe that it's come to this. I can't believe that um, that people are losing their businesses, their livelihoods. You know, things that man, if that happened to me here, I, I would be devastated. I would be devastated. I can't even, I can't even begin to imagine that. Like this is my livelihood. This is what it. I've worked, you know, my last ten years to build up. You know, and it, it get taken all away in one night. Because of some people that are unruly and and um, you know, you know, if you guys, I'm I'm just letting you guys know, guys. I'm letting you guys know right now. If you guys are watching my channel, and you're one of those people out there looting and stealing from other people's businesses, shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. And you know what? There's nothing good gonna come of that. Nothing's gonna come of that. Yeah, what you're gonna go sell those products? You're gonna go sell those things somewhere on offer up or something and make a couple of bucks. For what? You know what it's going to take for that person that lost all that merchandise and lost all that? You know how long it's going to take for them to get it back? Yeah, sure, the big corporations, they have insurances like that. But the small mom and pop, small mom and pop shops don't. They don't. They're going to be out there. They're going to be asked out. You know, the merchandise, those barbershops that got destroyed, it's sad. I can't believe, I can't believe that our society is doing that. And if you know what, if you're one of those people, then shame on you. Shame on you. You, you, you know what, you brought shame upon yourself, you know, that's how I look at it, um, I don't know, I, I wasn't out there, hell no, I would never do that, I would never do that, I don't, you know, me, myself, I don't think I'd even protest, guys, tell you the truth, you know what, you know, I, I have my beliefs, everybody has their beliefs, but to go out and destroy other people's property because you're trying to prove a point, come on now, that's ridiculous, that's super ridiculous, Super ridiculous. And I hope my barber brothers and sisters aren't out there doing and running this bullshit. You know what? I don't have time for that. I'm here to grind and work and make money. I'm not here to, to be worried about, 
You know what I mean? I know, I know it's an issue, guys. And I know, you know, civil issues are happening out there. And I know people's, you know, lives are being violated. I know that. I know that. But what we're doing right now helps nobody or helps nothing. And it's ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. I'm really, uh, I'm disappointed in all of us. I'm disappointed in us as a society. I'm disappointed in all the people that that are, are doing this. And, and, you know, think they're helping the cause, but they're not helping shit. That's my spill for this morning, guys. I'm about to get inside my shop. First appointment's at 9 a.m. Um, I am open for business again. Super happy about that. I feel blessed. I feel my feel, feel blessed, and my store is here still. And um, I get to come home, get to come here today and grind, grind hard. But uh, I feel for all you guys. If you guys, some of you guys out there, I feel for you. If if uh, if, if this has impacted you in, in in a way, you know what I mean. I I feel for you, and I I, I hope uh, I'm praying. That, that that everything works out for you guys. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to go inside, get started on this day. I'm going to try to videotape some haircuts today with my good camera. Today I have a little bit less, more time. I'll be able to do some haircuts with my good camera. I haven't been able the last few days, guys, because we've been so slam busy. I mean, uh, my book's been full the last few days. So it, it, it's hard to pull out the camera when, when I don't have enough time to, to really be filming. So I kind of just been concentrating on doing the haircuts because some of these guys are coming in with some big ass mops. Like they literally just sat around for the last 90 days and didn't get no haircuts. So some of them is I got to find my way in there and find that haircut they used to get before. You know what I mean? Plus, I've been getting a lot of new clients, which is a good thing. The thing that kind of screws me over right now is I got put in Facebook jail. So I can't post nothing. And uh, a lot of my advertising, a lot of the things that I do, I do through through Facebook. So it kind of messes me up there. But, you know, it is what it is. So today is my birthday. 51 years old and here I am grinding, guys. No time to take days off right now. We've been off too many days. Too many days. I'm going to get inside get started on this day. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Don't be out there acting a fool. Don't. Don't. Keep your ass at home and get ready to go to work. All right, guys? Let's do this. First Monday back, guys. First Monday back. I feel exciting. I feel like I got purpose again. Well, guys, I didn't show you this the other day, but I wanted to show you guys. These are the hot items right now, guys. The hot items. Selling face masks. Everybody's wearing face masks right now. Found myself a little gold little retails. But I buy them wholesale and I sell them retail. Selling these for 10 bucks a piece. And I sell the black ones for 5 bucks a piece. And then I got these real thin ones. These are about $2 a piece. But those are I'm using in case people walk in with no mask. And I can offer them one of those masks at a low, inexpensive price. Plus, I got these ones over here. Dodgers Raiders selling these for 10 bucks a piece but they're going good I sold about $60 worth of masks yesterday so let me open up the shop guys get ready for business here finally get to open up my windows now that we're we're able to open up so open up my blinds no more undercover records One of the requirements here in California to open up, guys, is you have to have proper signage for your patrons when they walk into your shop. So that's what these things are right here, guys. It's kind of explaining the rules of our shop. You know, you must wear a face mask. Uh, just explaining about COVID and how how we're doing things. No more waiting in the, in the break room and stuff like. No more using uh, the restroom. So they're just signs that we have to have. Please sanitize your hands, sanitize your hand sanitizer provided. Inside the shop, we have different signs. They're saying that no face masks, no service. So we're just trying to abide by all the rules, guys. Um, today, I'm having some other signs made that, that are about social distancing. And we're going to hang in here. And I'm going to put some on the ground right here so that people know when they come in, if they have to wait for a second, then they can wait six feet apart. So that's our main purpose is just to, to implement uh, all the social distancing uh, uh, techniques that, that, um, that the state has, has uh, told us to do. 
basically, uh, uh, they're just worried that that we have to follow all these rules. So that that's that's what we have to do, guys. And then, you know, in order for us to open, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Um, yesterday's video, I showed you guys that I I got a new machine, second generation, super awesome machine, guys. I got to use it yesterday. Oh man, it feels good. It feels good to have a brand new a brand new five star in your hand. And, and I don't know, brand new five star just feels good. Feels feels powerful. Feels like you know, like you could pick. I want to pick it up every time I do a haircut. Now I'm thinking about ordering myself another one. That way I have two of them. I have another one, the first generation, but that bad boy is so loud now. I gotta I gotta order myself a cam follower. Cam follower is the little the little the little part, the plastic part that makes your blade go back and forth. When that thing wears out, your machine gets super loud, and you know, that's when you got you know you gotta get another one. So. Let's get started on this day, guys. I said, hope you guys are grinding. We hope you guys are having a good day. Stay home. No more rioting. No more looting. That shit's ridiculous, guys. Pretty crazy day, guys. Pretty crazy day. Uh, you know what I mean? We were talking about this morning about all the riots and all that. And uh, apparently the shenanigans are continuing, you know. We've been right here at the barbershop grinding all morning, working hard and... Uh, you know, just trying to stay vigilant, but we already heard that there's a, an assembly of people about maybe, uh, maybe about five miles up the road at a shopping center, and uh, we heard that they're walking up our street coming this way. They're going to be here by two o'clock, so, you know, that's kind of concerning. I'm kind of worried about that, uh, but you know what? I, I'm going to stay here at my shop, and I'm not going to leave here. I'm going to defend my shop for whatever it takes, guys. Um, you know, I'm not going to be one of those guys that's going to run. I'm, I'm just not. I'll park my truck in front of my freaking shop if I have to and just stand right there, you know. Uh, but it's sad, guys. It's just sad that it's coming to this. It's sad that people are acting like this. Uh, I'm really disappointed in humans, human beings all together right now. They're just, it's, they're, we're not doing things the right way, guys. And it's and it's uh, it's concerning. It's, it's sad, I think. It's sad. But right now, I'm going to go get some lunch. And I'm going to head to the bank real quick, get some change, and come back and finish off this day strong. I still got a few more appointments in the afternoon. I got about an hour break right now, so I'm going to go handle this business, and I'll be back. working but we were pretty steady the whole day it turned out to be a really good day 
uh, I did about probably about 14 15 haircuts so I mean people are coming in right now people need haircuts and you know and, it, and it's different for my shop because my shop I mean although we are appointments here guys we've never been strictly appointments it's been appointments and walk-ins so a lot of our clients are used to just walking in you know and like so today I had probably like seven appointments scattered but there was a lot of empty spots in the middle People were calling in and I was telling them, all right, we'll just get down here, get down here now. I have an appointment at this time. And then when they got in my chair, I'll explain to them that we're appointment only now, that you need to book appointments. Uh, um, I'm just trying to exaggerate that the appointments is the same price as waiting. And there's no more waiting inside the shop. So you can't just come in and wait no more. So it, it, it's uh, it's a little for them, a little bit for them to comprehend, but they're getting the concept of it. Um, Plus, you know, the people that were walking in, they're paying $3 more than what we used to pay. We used to charge $22, now we're charging $25. We'll charge you $25 flat, you know, and $35 for a beer trim. And um, most people, and, you know, actually, you know, like, I'm not going to lie. There was almost nobody's complaining. One guy right now at the end, it was funny because Raul walked in. Some guy walked in and he's all like, hey, how much for a haircut? And uh, Raul goes, $25. And then the guy goes, oh, $25? Are you crazy? And he looked at it like Raul, like he was like, he, like he was insane. And Raul was like, yeah, $25. And then Raul already had a cape on him. Raul was about to take the cape on him. He's like, it's cool. It's no problem, bro, if you don't want to pay that. And he's all like, hmm, all right, I'll pay it. I'll pay it. So he sits down and he gets a haircut. Then he goes, hey, what about if you clean this up and take clean this all up? And Raul was like, $10 more. It's $35. What? Are you crazy? And then he's like, you can't do it for $25? And then Raul tells him, I'm going to do it for $25 for you today. Just to, just to you know, but this is just once, you know? But that's what we charge here, you know. I, me, myself, I was about to tell him, like, dude, there's the $15 shops are down the street right here, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, who walks, who does that? Who does that these days? I, I don't know. Me, myself, if I would have walked into a shop and it was more than I expected to pay, I would bite the bullet and just pay it and then not come back there. Or, or I would just, like, get up and say, oh, I'm sorry, that's too much for me. And we would understand. That's happened before. But to make a big old scene like that is, like... Yeah, it's just a cholo thing, you know. Like the homies, they they they. It's like I could tell he was a homie, and right away they they, they do this this thing where they, they they try to get over on you, like you know, like try to push you around. It's just, yeah, it's just crazy. It's craziness. It's craziness. But Raul handled it perfectly to the point. I loved it. I loved it. Me myself, it wouldn't have been in my chair. I would have told him out as soon as he said that. That, that ten dollars. I go to this place where they charge twelve dollars. I think he told Raul. I go to this place where they charge twelve dollars. I would have took the cape off of him and told him, no problem, bro. There's a couple of shops on Azusa Avenue right there. They charge 15 bucks. No problem. I've been in business for a long time, guys. I know my worth. I know I know my worth. I, I, I still think I'm undercutting myself. I think my, my haircuts are $30, $35, but I don't charge that because I know where I live and I know the people here, you know, and that. But, you know, it's going to get to the point when if I get too, too, too busy, it's gonna, the prices are going to have to go up, even if it's just for myself. But that's the way it is. That's how you got to be, guys. That's the way it's got to be, you know? But, guys, that's it for today. I'm leaving and going home. <coughs> Coronavirus. Just kidding, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm going home now. Today is my birthday, guys. It's, today is my birthday. 51 years old. 51 years old. Happy birthday to me. You know, it sucks because I'm on Facebook. I'm on Facebook jail and I can't even respond. There's like, I'm getting so many happy birthdays. All my friends, family, you know, clients, you know, everybody that knows me are telling me happy birthday and I can't even respond. <laughs> so it's kind of, it pisses me off, dude. I, I don't know. Social media should be so important, but I guess, you know, I'm a social media guy. No, that's it, part of my business too, you know. It, it, it is, it, it, believe it, and believe it, guys. For you, you guys are watching this and you guys are barbers and you guys are, are, are going to want a barbershop or you guys have a barbershop, if you guys aren't on, are on social media, you're, you're doing yourself an injustice because social media is where it's at if you want to attract people into your business. That's how you get on, you know, you make videos, you show your shop, you know, make your shop look nice and then you make videos so that people see it and they want to come into your shop. And then the haircuts are, you know, then you get good at doing haircuts too. Then it all compounds together and, you know, and that's what you do, guys. That's, that's, that's my recipe. That's my recipe. But like I was saying, guys, that's it for today. Uh, I actually closed up an hour early today and that's because of all this civil unrest. What's wrong with you guys out there? 
I hope my brothers and barber sisters and barber brothers are not out there looting and doing, and, you know, if you're marching and protesting, that's fine, but do it peacefully. Don't be one of these people that are breaking into small businesses and, and, and destroying them and doing that, guys. Don't do that. That's bad, man. If you're doing that, shame on you. Shame on you. Seriously, shame on you. You shouldn't be doing that. That's wrong. You know, there's, we always got to live by... You know, I always feel like you have to be a, to be a good... If you want good things to happen to you in your life, you have to do the right thing. If you're doing the wrong thing, then wrong things will happen to you. Trust me, it's karma. You have to live a righteous life. If you don't live a righteous life, then you're not going to be successful. You're not going to live a good life. You have to be a good person. You have to be a good person to everybody. We know we all have to love each other. You know, this is one world we all have to live in it, you know? And for us to be out there destroying our own neighborhoods, like, oh, it's insanity, guys. Like, come on, man. If you're out there and you're doing that, shame on you. Don't do that again. Like, turn it around, guys. You know, turn it around. There's always, you know. But that's that's just wrong, guys. That's just wrong. I, 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 I don't know. I'm ashamed of these people that are out there doing that. Like, I just, it's just wrong, you know. Like, okay, you want to march? Fine, but... It's getting carried out of hand. It's getting out of hand where they're bringing in. They're going to call martial law on us. And then what are we going to do? Business just opened up and now I'm going to have to close it up. Now I got to worry about people marching in here and destroying my business too. That's ridiculous, guys. That's ridiculous. And I feel for those guys out there that, that got their businesses destroyed. Like, guys, you don't even know. This is our livelihood. If they destroy this, how am I going to make money? How are we going to like? How am I going to live? Like, I don't know. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. My heart pours out to all you barbers out there that lost something or, or, or are going through it. Like, I feel for you. I feel for you, man. Like, just let's just pray on it tonight. Let's pray to God that that this this just everybody wakes up. And it just stops because this is insanity. It's insanity. But that's my pitch about this, guys. Um, tomorrow's Tuesday. Normally my day off, but I don't have barbers to work. So guess what? I'm grinding, guys. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna roll through to next week. Um, Biz, I talked to Biz, my one of my other barbers. He's not going to be back till next Wednesday, so that's going to be my next plan day off. I'm going to work straight through to all the way till next Wednesday. So I'm going to be here, guys. I'm going to be vlogging. Uh, I appreciate everybody that's you know that's come onto my channel, that's new to my channel. Welcome, Jed Clark. Sorry, I didn't even ship out your machine, dude. There's just some crazy insanity going on right now. Give me a bit, bro. I'll get it to you. I know you're right here in Corona Del Mar. You're not too far from me. But I will get it to you, all right? I'll get it to you. But guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. It's good to be back to work. I love it. I love it. It feels good to be back to work. I, I don't know. I'm a grinder. I just, you know, I love being in this place and just being here and cutting hair and, you know, servicing people and talking to my clients. It just, that's my thing. That's my thing. And I feel good. I feel good. I'm glad. I'm happy. Today's my birthday and I feel happy and it's good. Right now, I'm going to go home. Go home to my wife. Uh, you're saying happy birthday to me it's gonna be fun but guys again appreciate you guys every single one of you guys and I'll see you guys mañana grind on yeah yeah we'll do a real birthday maybe turn the TV off so you know no like no or just the volume yeah. oh where's no, the thing there's no like the little thing there there's yeah. one on this side it's there, but it's like, it's my dug in there. Yeah. Ready? Like that or? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit up, a little bit up. So we're going to film it too. Yeah, that's good. Okay. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Albert. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Thank you. Make a wish, babe. Yay! I thought you were going to
<laughs> feel like I was 15 again. You look good. Speech, 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 yeah, speech, 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 speech. Well, speech. next year when I turn 16, I'm going to feel a lot better. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. How's it feel to be, have a birthday on a protest, babe? I know, right? I'm, I feel like this is like a... a Historic right here. Yeah. During the during uh, uh, uh quarantine. You'll never forget it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we love you. Bye. Thank you, baby. Thank you, everybody. Happy birthday, Albert. <laughs>